poke. Poke people. I'm sorry. Lay in. I get it. You can be upset. I would be upset too if I had to poke people for self-defense. That's, that's Perfect. In this channel, we like to do things a little bit differently. I like to take things and put them on their head, you know what I mean? I like to take the things that people don't have the guts, the guts, the guts, the things that people love and hold so near and dear to their hearts, their favorite kick, punch, elbow, and I like to squish it along with their dreams, okay? Today what we're gonna do is we're going to rank different strikes in martial arts from best to worst. We're gonna take things like punches, elbows, knees, kicks, and treat them all as if they were on one playing field and then divide them by good, bad, really bad. Like, don't why even use it? Yeah, we're gonna go there today, but we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about, the very first thing, I feel like it's the most obvious one, it's the punch. The punch is obviously the most used strike in all of hitting people period, whether it's martial arts, whether it's like a street fight, whatever it is. I'm about to do my thing. Okay, now you guys can go to my website, get all the information that you need. Punching people is like the OG attack on someone's person. You punch them in the arm, you dead leg somebody, you hit them in the face. Like it, all of these things, which I don't recommend you do, all of these things are just a straight up punch, just a little pop. Now, with that being said, very widely used but in my opinion, not the strongest technique. It is one of the longer techniques. It's not the longest technique. And you have to be within a range where what I've always said is if someone is close enough for you to punch them, they're close enough to punch you back. I'm actually gonna give a punch an A tier. We're gonna start off hot with the making people upset. And I'm sorry, punch is A tier. Like, I think there's so many things that can go wrong with punching. You can break your hand. Like these aren't meant, these are meant to like write things down and like pick fruits and like, like carry things. These aren't meant to punch heads. Like we, we've, we've talked about this in the past. This very hard. This not very hard. Oh my God. Holy subscribe. Shit. You can condition your hands. Okay. Next one is gonna be an elbow. The punch is shorter cousin that like shows up early at the family reunion and eats all the food. The elbow. <sighs> Do that long enough, it hurts. Elbows are tough, elbows are rigid, elbows cut people open. They also work as great braces and frames. The elbow, the elbow is a cool one. I automatically want to give an elbow a really high grade. Honestly, this is probably gonna be the hardest tier list I've ever done. Pros and cons. Cut people, really hurt somebody, shorter range, but that could be a good thing. That could just be, hmm. If you know when to use an elbow, it's sick. Whew, why did I start with two good ones right off the bat? This was dumb. Um, let's put elbow, let's put elbow in the A territory. Man, I might give an elbow an S. No. All right, now we're gonna go to spinning attacks. Some spinny stuff, you know what I mean? Anything spinning. Spinning elbow, spinning back fist, spinning kick, whatever it is. Spinning attack, tornado, jump spin crescent, whatever your little taekwondo heart desires, okay? Spinning attacks are sick, they look cool, they catch people off guard, but they're not efficient. If we look at like effective, effectiveness percentage, I don't, I'm talking like, like even really good people, maybe like, 50, and then like as you start to get worse, it obviously goes down. Um, spinning stuff, probably C tier. I probably give spinning stuff. I'm probably giving spinning stuff like C tier out of all this. I know. Sorry, spinning stuff C tier. Even just like sheer practicality, spinning stuff should not be higher. I don't know. We'll see where else we go with this. All right, a two-handed push. Uh, uh. It is a disengager. 
is a way to like assert dominance. Won't do much damage unless you have a buddy who's like crouched down behind them beneath their knees and you push them over and they topple backwards. Pushes are cool. No, they're not. Pushes are, are the worst. If you push somebody, F, D, D tier. Pushes are D tier. And and let me tell you, I might have to put spinning back up. We'll, we'll see. Kick. Ready? A kick. Front kick, side kick, roundhouse kick. Um, you got to exclude side kicks because side kicks don't work. But uh, all the cool kicks are long and strong. If you know how to throw them correctly, they will do a lot of damage. They're more dangerous than most of the attacks here, aside from like spinning. More dangerous because once one foot is off the ground, you literally compromise your balance. It's in half now. Your, your balance is in half. But if you know how to throw it correctly, you can tear somebody up. Unless you take that one. Um, just kidding, Taekwondo people. The the kicking martial arts are dope. If you don't know how to throw punches, obviously this is a problem. This, this list isn't about throwing one thing and nothing else. This list is about pure effectiveness, strength, and ha not having a lot of defensive faults. With that being said, not having a lot of defensive faults is not the kick's strong suit. I give the kick a B. Moving on to headbutt, the like, the Letwe special, the football player special, the getting called for targeting, you know what I mean? That what you always see in the bars from English people. Why do I feel like English people always throw headbutts in bars? Anytime I see a bar fight with anybody east of the Atlantic, it goes like this. Oi, bro, what you think you're doing? Bunk. <laughs> the headbutts sound like this when it's, this is a European headbutt. Bunk. Um, headbutts are cool. Very, very short range. You're taking your brain keeper and you're hitting somebody else's sniffer or taster you know what i mean uh very strong attack works a lot very cool if you have a helmet on i'm gonna give it a c tier though if you're that close well i guess if you're that close if you're that close and you headbutt somebody then you like weren't you probably weren't able to do anything else but why'd you let somebody get so close on the other hand headbutt i'm gonna give headbutt a b headbutt a b I know if you do it correctly, then you don't cause brain damage, so they say. But I don't think enough people know how to throw headbutts correctly, but definitely throw them. I'll give it a B. Just because it has a space where you can't really do anything else. Alright, a little bitty poke. Ah, a poke. Whether it's like a uh, Larry Curly Mo, or whatever it is the sound they make. Um, pokes are interesting. People will immediately go for, what? have you ever been poked in the eyes? And yeah, like you see the UFC fighters are poked in the eye. I get it. I'm sure it hurts. I have been poked in the eye before. It sucks. I don't think it's an effective, repeatable option. Like they talk about the slash of the eyes. No. Pretty much, if you say poke, the only thing you're talking about is either you're getting tickled or you're getting eye poked. And if you think about it, those two things in the same boat, Poke's going to be our first F tier. Poke. Poke people. I'm sorry. Lay in. I get it. You can be upset. I would be upset too if I had to poke people for self-defense. That's, that's <laughs> All right. Moving on to the knee. Bang. Bang. Being able to crunch your middle leg into somebody's ribs. Knees are awesome. Knees are cool. Knees are good for close range. You can move in with knees, sort of, but not really. You don't have the same range as kicks do or the same power, in my opinion. You have a sturdier landing object in the knee, and you have control a little bit better over your knee if it misses. Um, knees are sick. Knees do a lot of damage. I feel like knee and elbow should be in the same range because they literally happen from the same range. I like to be able to close the distance. This might be a little biased. I might just have to give the knee a B. The knee gets a B. I think it's I think it's only fair. Uh no, you don't risk the takedown. Knee gets a B. Knee gets a B. For the pure range of it, knee gets a B. And I think elbow might get a B too. I think elbow gets a B too. Groin strikes. 
groin strikes. Unless you're Raymond Daniels whipping around spinning rear kicks to somebody's reproductive system. Um, I just don't think that the groin strike is that... Like, it's a cool thought process. You can use it for fakes. Like, anytime fainting to the groin is cool. I don't think it's as much of a fight ender as people make it out to be. Groin, I give... I think people rely on it too much, which is why I want to automatically give it an F. It's because too many people rely on it. We're going to keep it at F. We're going to see what happens. We're going to keep it at F. A slap. Okay, now we're going to talk about a slap. Just a, an open-handed mind changer. You know what I mean? That, like, whoa. You get slapped. Like it, it's no joke. Um, that being said, not really a fight ender unless you're Russian and 400 pounds. But it's a real demoralizer, and it can kind of shake up your senses a little bit. Just like, whoa, what was that? Um, slap followed by an overhand, maybe? I'm going to give slap a C, though. Slap definitely gets a C. Obviously, it doesn't do as much damage as spinning, but I think it has a better purpose than spinning does. Does that make sense? I'm gonna give slap a C here. Throws. Now, not technically a strike, but you're like striking the ground with a body. You're, you're striking a body with the ground, for lack of better words. When you're throwing somebody, you're taking their body, their entire being, and you're putting it up in the air and then down onto the ground. To usually a hard ground of some sort. Now you can take like trips and stuff like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put trips and everything else into this category. Pretty much just making somebody hit the ground, takedowns for lack of better words. If you know how to throw somebody, that means you know how to throw somebody well. And you can do enough to throw somebody. Throws are really cool for close range. Like you can get in close, toss somebody, and then get on top and kind of control if you, if you know how, obviously. What's interesting is I gave judo a bad tier, but I think throws are one of the most effective things that you can do. I just don't think you should only be able to do throws. And I think I also probably should have given judo a B on my last tier, not my last one, the Styles one. You can, you know which one I'm talking about. But anyway, um, I think throws are A tier. I don't give them S tier because a lot of people will throw them and like hurt themselves in the process or will try and throw people and then like lose balance, fall, et cetera, et cetera. I think that throws do have a certain risk that go along with them, but the reward is sick. And if you know how to throw somebody, there's multiple different ranges that you can throw people at. I think overall just throws A tier. Yeah. All right. We land on the boss root and special. More powerful than a slap. Not quite a punch because you, you miss out on about this much of range. Right? Um, palm strikes are cool. They're strong. I think that angle-wise you have a lot less options. I guess you can come over top. But you, you kind of miss out on a bunch of stuff when it comes to palm strikes. You're, you're a little more limited than you are with punches, with elbows, stuff like that. Palm strikes can knock somebody out. And I think they're less likely to damage your hand than punches are. I think we have to fall somewhere in between where palm strikes get this B tier. I think it's only fair. And honestly, honestly, I like this tier list. Punches, throws. Yeah, I don't think there's an S tier tier except for like sucker punching people don't sucker punch people yeah i don't see anything here that i disagree with or that i hate that i put there i i might i might move growing up to d i think poke stays where it's at i don't think poke has enough i think groin might go up a little bit but i think that's it i think everything else is cement I think it should be where it is. If you like this tier list and you want to see more of my tier list, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check out this playlist right here. Let me know which tier list you want to see next because by all means, at this point, like I, I'm sure there's nobody I'm not going to make upset. And I love you. And I think your opinion is valid unless it disagrees with mine. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you don't subscribe, I will... I'll poke you, bro. But the first thing I would suggest is... Um understand what the moves are for in capoeira because there there are a lot of capoeiristas and they are phenomenal athletes and it is it is great training it is awesome gymnastics